Goody Grammar. I cannot thank you enough for spending your Wednesday with me, where we are going to go ahead and review various words of the week. So buckle up, Grammar Goodies. And to just give you a little overview, we're going to start with a little basket breaker, followed up by sipping up some radioactive waste. Then we'll ask for some employee assistance and practice a little bit. Followed up by an aisle check, where I'll quiz you on the different words that we'll cover this evening. Then the grammar goody sentence shout out of the week, which goes to an individual or individuals that participate in our comment section. So as we go through this whoa, Wednesday, make sure to participate in the comment section. And then we'll check out for the evening. Oh. Well, with that out of the way, I really want to do a basket breaker. Uh-oh. For this week's basket breaker, the question is, What's the longest race you've ever run? Think about it and post your answer into the comments section. Hmm. And this could be both literally or figuratively. Hmm. goodies what did you get here's my answer the longest race i've ever run is live <laughs> and i'm exhausted but really i'm so tired <laughs> and thirsty so i think it's time we sip up some radioactive waste G -g 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 Three, two, one. The essential question for tonight's lesson is, how can one properly use each word of the week? And by the end of this lesson, you'll be able to answer this very question. Speaking of words of the week, tonight we're going to talk about three different words. The words are... Fervent, stamina, and exhibit. Let's go ahead and dive into each word separately. First, we have the word fervent. But what does it mean, Mr. Goody Grammar? Great question, voice that I'm just thinking's there. Fervent is an adjective that means having or displaying passionate intensity. You're like, oh, I am of passion. I have fervent desires. So, fervent basically means impassioned, passionate, or intense. And you use it as an adjective. Let's go ahead and see how fervent is used in a sentence. He had a fervent desire to steal all of the kingdom's candy. Whoa! Where did the candy go? He stole it with a fervent desire, a passionate desire for all of the candy. <laughs> Here it is used in another sentence. His fervent love for the sport will push him to be very successful. Here, we have his passionate love for the sport. That right there will push him to be very successful. So we can see the word fervent is used synonymously with passionate, used to describe something passionately. Speaking of doing things passionately, let's go ahead and passionately practice this word. Here's what I want you to do. Go ahead and use the word fervent in an original sentence. Think you could do that? Use the word fervent in an original sentence? I know you can. 
and get to it. And don't forget to post it in the comments. Uh oh. Oh. go on to the second word of the evening. It's the word stamina. Well, what does stamina mean? Well, stamina is a noun that stands for enduring strength and energy. Oh, I can do this all day. And some synonyms for the word stamina are endurance and staying power. But how do we use it in a sentence? I'm so happy you asked that. Here's stamina used in a sentence. He did not have the physical stamina to run the marathon. Huh, I'm right there with you. I'm the one who wrote the sentence. <laughs> Why don't I have stamina? Anyway, let's go ahead and see how it's used in another sentence. He did not have the test-taking stamina, so his mind crumbled during the standardized exam. <laughs> yep, I took all those tests. And my mind crumbled! But you know what didn't crumble? You. When you go ahead and practice the word stamina. Here's what I want you to do. Go ahead and use the word stamina in an original sentence. Then, boop, plop it into the comment section. And get to it! have some magical sentences. Speaking of magical, let's move on to the third word. It's the word exhibit. But what does exhibit mean? Well, exhibit is a verb that means manifest or deliberately display a quality or type of behavior. To simplify it, let's go ahead and look at some synonyms. Some synonyms for the word exhibit are show, reveal, display, and demonstrate. However, my favorite synonym is show. Let's see how exhibit is used in a sentence. He exhibits psychopathic tendencies because he drinks milk. <laughs> Why am I this age and still drinking milk? Am I crazy? <laughs> so here you can see he shows psychopathic tendencies because he drinks milk. It's the word exhibits. Let's go on and look at another example. We have the sentence, he uses a dead fish to spread colors across a canvas to exhibit his unique painting style. So here you can see that exhibit is used just like show, portray, because he is using this in order to show this right here. So exhibit, show, portray, depict. All right, you know what I want you to exhibit in the comment section? Oh yeah, an original sentence using the word exhibit. Think you could do that? Use exhibit in an original sentence and post it into the comments? I know you can. And get to it! I bet 
you exhibited your knowledge of the word exhibit and wrote some beautiful sentences. However, I'm still a little confused. So I think we should ask for some employee assistance. Oh, so much grammar. My head's gonna explode. I don't know what to do. I need help. We need some employee assistance. For this section, here's what's gonna happen. I'm going to read various sentences. Each sentence will have a blank in it. It's up to you to fill in the blank with either fervent, stamina, or exhibit. Think you can do that? Fill in the blank using the three different words? I know you can. So let's jump to question one. Question one. I have a blank goal that I will become the president. Uh-huh. Are you filling in this blank with fervent, stamina, or exhibit? Take a second. Think about it. So fervent is the correct answer. Great job! Let's move on to question two. Question two is, I do not like it when he blank the aggressive side of his personality. Are we filling in this blank with fervent, stamina, or exhibits? Take a second. Think about it. He shows the aggressive side of his personality. So exhibits is the correct answer. Let's move on to question three. Question three is, I'm out of practice and do not have the blank for this hike. Are we filling in this blank with fervent, stamina, or exhibits? Take a second, think about it. All right, let's go ahead and jump to the answer, grammar goodies. The correct answer is the word stamina. Yeah, endurance. I'm out of practice and don't have the stamina, the endurance for this hike. So stamina is the correct answer. Hmm, wow, grammar goodies, I'm impressed. You did exceptionally well with those words of the week. So let's go ahead and put that to the test by doing an aisle check. <laughs> for this week's aisle check, Here's what's going to happen. I'm going to go ahead and read this sentence. This sentence has three blanks in it. You will fill in the blanks with either fervent, stamina, and exhibit. But you can only use each word once. So again, fill in the blanks with the three different words of the week. Here's the sentence. The blank athlete blank his immense blank by running nonstop for five miles. Whoa! What are we gonna what are we gonna do? How will we fill in these blanks? Oh yeah, we will by 
typing them into the comments section. And get to it! Okay, grammar goodies, did you get all three blanks d -d 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 filled in? I know you did. So let's go ahead and look at the answers. The answers are... The fervent athlete exhibited his immense stamina by running non-stop for five miles. So the passionate athlete showed his immense endurance by running non-stop for five miles. Fantastic job, Grammar Goodies. You did it. You mastered these three different words of the week. So make sure to now use them in your everyday writing and conversations. And without further ado, I think we should go ahead and start oh, checking out for the evening. Grammar goodies. I think it's time for the Grammar Goodie Sentence Shout Out of the Week. The Grammar Goodie Sentence Shout Out of the Week goes to an individual or individuals that participate in the comment section on any of our videos or social media platforms. Was it you? Is it me? Possibly my cat? Who knows? Ooh, so let's find out. The Grammar Goody Sentence Shoutout of the Week goes to... Twinfield! Sixth grade! Yeah! You did it again, Twinfield. Twinfield's sentence is... Dave foresaw the apocalypse would be caused by his farts due to eating Taco Bell. Ooh! Chalupas will do that to you. Watch out for the extra spicy hot sauce. Ooh! Twinfield, fantastic job. You got the Grammar Goody Sentence Shout Out of the Week. And again, if you would like the Grammar Goody Sentence Shout Out of the Week, make sure to participate in our comment section and use the different words of the week. Now, speaking of our different social media platforms and schedules, you can find a different word of the week every Sunday. Live sessions every Wednesday. Oh my gosh. I just, my brain started to pause because I forgot what they're called. Oh yeah, they're called Whoa! Wednesdays. Content episodes out regularly, including those sentence shout outs. And what do you want me to teach you? Put it into the comment section so I can create a Whoa Wednesday just for you. And, of course, follow us on any of our social media platforms, especially TikTok, where I do these dances. <laughs> but really, I can't dance. Ah. Regardless, my name is Mr. Goody Grammar. Thank you so much for spending another Wednesday with me. And come in. Anytime. I'll see ya. Do 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 do. Whoa! What are you still doing here? Don't you know that the episode is over? What? Okay, okay. I get it. I mean, I, I know you love grammar. So why don't you hit like on this video? In fact, share it and do a little comment. But mainly, subscribe. Why haven't you subscribed yet? In fact, if you don't subscribe, you could be pulled into an interdimensional vortex. So, make sure to subscribe. Remember, general grammar is tons of fun. What are you waiting for? Click on another video. <laughs>